So today's the start of the first day of the re uh, renovations on the unit and um, first load of the mezzanine that I bought has just turned up which is on the back of that trailer so it'll be quite interesting to see all this go up can't wait now things are starting to happen so the new window and doors going in today the guys have just turned up to start to fit that um, so should hopefully look completely different by the end of the day well that's it the boys are now left from fitting the new shop front for me so things are starting to happen with the uh with the workshop it's the first big change that's been made and i'm well happy with it they've done a fantastic job the the guys from speedway shop fronts but they come they just dealt with everything tidied up after them even concreted in there yeah they swept up they've done everything um left the rubbish nice and neat for me well happy uh it's just the beginning of everything now can't wait can't wait so the mezzanine starting monday then it's a case of getting on with all the shop bits and bobs I'm going to replace that centre door now. We've put a little, um, we've put a little mark on the floor. Me, Tracy, and Sam. Well, Tracy did that earlier, but now the view from in here is a bit different. It lets in a lot of natural light. Can't wait for the mezzanine to start. Things are going to start moving then, I think. Uh, I need to speak to them to see if they can move the electricity box down there for me. Uh, Tracy wants that out of the shop, which I don't really care if it's done or not really, but we could always put a cupboard in the shop. But if it's cheap to do it, then I don't see the harm in, in moving it and putting it under the staircase. So I'm going to lock up in here now. Um, it's, it's about seven o'clock Saturday night, half six Saturday night, something like that. I'm building a, an MG1622 engine at the moment, so uh, I can get on with that. But to think this morning, it was a rotten old wooden door, a rotten old window frame with a water heater on it from where the sink used to be to all of a sudden the wall's gone, the door frame's in, the windows are in and it's all re-concreted back into place. Uh, they've done a, I just can't believe it. I'm so, I'm so chuffed with, uh, with how much that's changed the front of the, of the unit. Uh, when, the shop's, when the shop's done, it's really, gonna, it's really gonna improve the look of it all. So chuffed with that. Can't wait now, the mezzanine starts Monday. I, I do think it's all of a sudden it's gonna really start to make a difference as soon as we've got the the lighting back on and everything it's going to be super i think yeah that all needs sorting out that's a that's a proper mess that yeah i'm not too happy about that that needs sorting a lot better than that i don't want it like that all the rubbish wants digging out of that i don't mind the dirt the dirt will disappear but the rubbish wants digging out of that and then i need to speak to a friend of mine tom who does concrete and he did the concrete floor in my um in my garage at home so i'm gonna ask him to come and see about putting the concrete base down and some drainage for when we do the washroom but still it's still progress even if it's not quite exactly where i want it to be yet So the guys have been down doing the uh, mezzanine, so I'll show you that. But Mickey's come in today on his moped. Thinks he's Ken Boone. I'll show you the um, the work, the progress so far. So the door got done on Saturday, which I'm really happy with. And then so far that's the mezzanine that's gone up 
So underneath is going to be Tracy's shop. On top, well, the plans are changing, but definitely in this corner over there is going to be the toilet and showers. That was going to be um, like an office, but that's changing now. So they're over today to put these long ones in because that's going to run the whole length from there to there. Um, so I'll get some, I'll try and get some footage of all that going up. But no, uh, it's really starting to take shape now. Very happy. The restoration continues for the workshop, which is all good. I bought my Chevy down out of the way, so it's not on the drive anymore at home with weeds growing up it. The body shop's got to paint the door for me where I caught the wall at home. But that's a 454, 7.4 supercharged, big block, Chevy pickup truck, which I bought about, I don't know, four or five years ago as a shop truck. And then stopped using it because it needs a diff in it. And when you do a burnout in it, any lights one wheel up and um, don't look cool with one wheel lit up. So, but I've, I've managed to get hold of the, one of the original owners of the truck that imported it from the UK who had a brand new diff in a box. He had still had the original steering wheel because he replaced the steering wheel. And um, I must admit, I don't like that one. Uh, and some other bits and bobs. So he kindly sold me that stuff back. I need to order a tire for it. And uh, order a tire. I want some black wheels for it. Get the diff fitted. And then that's all good. Mickey built this moped. And I must admit it did look cool when he come to work on it this morning. So fair play Mickey. It's gonna be big, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, oh it is. I'll meet you do. <laughs> My wife is evil. <laughs> Never wants to be on camera. Come on, you and YouTuber. She me about. So today we've got the final run of RS James stuff up. Getting ready for the staircase tomorrow, I believe. And I've asked him if he could do a little, if there's going to be enough headroom to do a little shortcut bridge here, which I think would be a cool feature. And then at least now we can see how much space we have got. To, um, to use, so it's all good. The heat has got to go tomorrow, I think. Um, and they've had to order some new purlins because they didn't have enough and some more floorboard. But for saying it's only day four and everything's had to be cut and adjusted to get the head height, I'm, I'm really impressed with what, what they've done so far. So it's all good. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Sam. oh my god. Ooh. Happy birthday, <laughs> Terry. Take two. Yeah. <laughs> that was a bit girly, that one. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, Terry, I've got all of these presents for you, but no, I didn't have time to wrap them. Okay. I've only had 60 years. <laughs> a 60th badge to wear with pride. A senior moments book, but you've been having them for the past 15 years. Yes. A candle so you can think of me in the bath. <laughs> Always do. So you can have a cup of tea in the bath. A cup. Whilst I think of you. A card. Ooh, already opened. Already opened. A 60th birthday Cadbury's Dairy Milk Bar, which apparently tastes better. It's matured with age. Is it 60 years old? And drumsticks, <laughs> because I know you like light up tips with built in speakers, melody background music. Drumsticks. They're my favourite. Would you have any batteries for that? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I even got your batteries. <laughs> you even borrowed two. Drumsticks. <laughs> <laughs> it was all there, Mickey. Come and have a look. Mickey, Come and see what I got him. Mickey, we have Play Anywhere. Play Anywhere drumsticks. drumsticks. Oh, cool. See? Oh, yeah, wicked. We need to fire them up, I reckon. Yeah. yeah. Look. Chocolate, oh, Mickey. Mickey. Look, 60. Oh, that's 60 nice. Where'd you get that from? from? Temptation. Did you? 60 years old, that chocolate. Yeah. Bath candle. Yeah, nice. 
That's going to be a bit strange. As I haven't got a badge. A badge? You've got to put that on there. Oh no, tomorrow I suppose. A book. Book. Yeah. And a cup. A cup. Mug. It's lucky you don't talk northern, do you? So. Oh, uh, happy birthday. Right. Happy birthday. Come on, Nick. Come on. Let's hear the drummer get wicked. What is that? It's the stubby one under the walnuts. Yeah, I need that. I need that. Is it powerful, Sam? Yeah. Happy boss day. So Travis Barker, Blink 182. Don't worry, Travis. I don't think he's. I don't think he's going to be ever as good as you. Crash. I thought it was like. Sorry, Sue. Can the makers of these drumsticks please tell me if you've got any online training? <laughs> Winning.